What I want to do today is create an AI writing coach using Google Forms and OpenAI, so that whenever a new form is filled out in our Google Forms app, OpenAI will create a prompt assisting us in our writing. The prompt we create will then be stored in Notion. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial, so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Google Forms to trigger our writing coach, I'll need to use Google Forms as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Form Response as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Google Forms sees a new form is filled out, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Google Forms, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Google account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Select the form you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up this trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Send Prompt and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Google account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the dropdown. Click Create New Secret Key, and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue, and it's time to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. I'll need to enter my Google Form data in a way that OpenAI can understand. Under Prompt, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type, I want you to act as my writing coach. The writing challenge that I've been given is, and then click my first form response. Then I'll write, I want you to, and then click my second form response. Last, I'll type, based off of this writing sample, and then click my last form response, which is my writing sample and then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and we can move on to our second action step. OpenAI will create our prompt, but we'll need to make sure it appears on our Notion app. To do this, click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and then type Notion into the search bar. Click Create Page and then click Continue. Log into your account once more, click Continue again. From there, we could start to assign our Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, select the parent page you'd like to use for your Zap. Next, under Title, I'll type Writing Prompt, and then under Content, I'll type in a custom message. I'll type Feedback, and then click Response. And then type Sample, and click Writing Sample. And then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. An AI writing coach has been created using Google Forms, OpenAI, and Notion. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier could do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.